quieren pegar. A la línea no voy, mamá. A la línea no voy, papá. A la línea yo no voy más. That music remains one of the most popular forms of folk music in Puerto Rico, and it serves as significant evidence of that island's rich African heritage. My guest with me today, Kevin Diaz, one of the people really trying to help keep that part of Puerto Rican culture alive in Connecticut. It's called Bumba. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it the correct way, That's, Mr. Diaz. That sounds perfect. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you, sir. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. I am so happy to have you here. Every Friday we also do food, and I always say food is a great way into culture. And this is a case where art is a great way into history, yeah. to learn about the uh, heritage, the African heritage on the island of Puerto Rico. Please give us a quick primer about the music and about, about how it's more than just music. Who doesn't love drumming, dancing? Right. It's a universal language. It's everybody. So uh, I created uh, Movimiento Cultural in yep. like around 2015, but I've been over 30 years promoting and elevating this music. And it's a mix of three cultures, mm -hmm. you know, heavy influence from Africa, West Africa, uh, but we also incorporate some of the indigenous and some of the European uh, into the rhythm. So. Uh, it's extensive. We can be here talking. <laughs> I'm sure all we day. could. And, and I, I want to make sure while we have a chance, there's a workshop coming up where you can learn about it in uh, the Fairhaven Branch Library in New Haven coming up on Saturday from 11 to 1. But the thing that caught me, not knowing much about it, it says you can learn the fundamentals of the music, the dance, and the storytelling. So yeah. this is kind of multi sensory. It's about a lot more than just yeah. music. Yeah. Why? Tell me more about that. Uh, it's part of our humanity, it's, it's something that is is over 400 years old mm -hmm. and it connects us. I seen the connection with people when they come and learn about Bomba and it doesn't have to be Puerto Rican, it's for everybody. Yeah. So, and we take the time, even for kids, to teach them the fundamentals, you know, how to learn the rhythm, how to do the dance movement steps. And I have a wonderful crew with me that always are willing to teach everybody. Uh, these females are, are something out of this world because yeah. they're really, really good and have the patience to teach everybody. <laughs> you so. can tell you're looking at me, but I'm looking at the TV along yes. with all our viewers watching it as it's yeah. going on. You said hundreds of years the history goes back. I think just the written history, the late 18th century, and it goes back further than that. Yeah. Uh, has it changed much over those years? The, the significant change is now that, and I think I'm coming back from 35 years of experience, it used to be limited only to families. Yeah. You were born to that family, and as a kid, you were learning, and when you became a young or an adult, you will be part of that group, and they will showcase throughout Puerto Rico. Uh, in the 90s, it, it started to expand. Okay. And, and then with Hurricane Maria, in 2017, yeah. where 90% of the island lost their power and cell yeah. phones. And for a long time, too. Yeah. So the young people started to focus more on their music. And it's a phenomenon now that when you go to Puerto Rico, there's bomba everywhere. Wow. The, the young people have started to embrace this. That, uh, and we see the effect even in Connecticut. Yeah. Right? You say, yeah. Where's Bomba in Connecticut? Well, it's so, probably everywhere considering the huge Puerto Rican diaspora in this yeah. state, one of the greatest yeah. percentages in the entire United yeah. States of, in terms of just what percentage of people have Puerto Rican heritage. Yeah, so it's making its way up here. That's what I love about it. So what can people expect if they go to this uh, this event on Saturday? They, uh, they're going to be in for for a treat because, uh, like I said, Victor Emanuel y is a master and, yeah. and he has taught for many years and he's a lecturer he has all the history with him mm -hmm. and he has the patience to show everybody so we have I had put RSVP and we're inundated with emails that oh, people that's want fantastic to. and it's free you know yeah. to the community because that's what we do and thanks to our sponsors too because we have you know Connecticut Humanity the City of New right. Haven Arts and Culture we have also the State Office of the Arts that support us in this grassroots effort that we have. And we are happy to just play a little, little part in getting that word out. Again, 11 <laughs> to you. 1 at the Fairhaven Branch Library in New Haven. Thank you so much, thank Mr. You. Diaz, thank you. for being thank here you. to teach us about it's, Bumba. It's been an honor to be here. Thank My you. My pleasure. The pleasure is all ours. <laughs>